The scene begins with Romeo muttering to himself. He jests at scars that never felt a wound. We can see that Romeo heard everything Mercutio said and feels that those who haven't been hurt by love would naturally make fun of those who are currently suffering from the scars as created by love. But while he says this remark, the ever so beautiful Juliet steps outside to the balcony. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east and Juliet is the sun. It is my lady, oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars as daylight doth a lamp. Her eye in heaven would through the airy region stream so bright that birds would sing and think it were not night. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand that I might touch that cheek. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or, if thou wilt not, be but sworn, my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. It is important to note here that Juliet is not saying, Where art thou, Romeo? As some people mistake in the reading of this line. Juliet says, wherefore, which actually means why. So Juliet is wondering why Romeo must be Romeo, the son of a Montague, enemy to the Capulets. She says that he should either let go of his last name or commit fully to loving her, which would convince her to leave the Capulet family. Juliet continues to think, what's in a name? A rose would smell just as sweet even if the word were to be changed to another word. She wishes that Romeo could let go of his name, and that if he were to do this, she would give all of herself to him. And to Juliet's surprise, Romeo had been hearing this all along. So he responds by saying, I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. When Juliet realizes that Romeo has climbed over the walls to speak with her, she gets worried and tells Romeo that his life is in danger if her family finds him here. Juliet tells Romeo to make sure that he takes her love seriously, and that perhaps she would have been a bit better at playing hard to get if he had not known about her love. But since he overheard all of her thoughts already, she wants him to know that just because she fell in love with him so quickly, it does not mean that her love is fake. The two of them go back and forth, speaking mostly about how much they already love each other. Romeo says that he would be satisfied if they made their love vows right now. But Juliet says that she has already technically professed her love when Romeo was eavesdropping. When the conversation is interrupted by the nurses calling from afar, Juliet leaves for a short while and then comes back. She says that she'll send a messenger tomorrow so that Romeo can tell the messenger where their marriage can take place. With the nurse constantly calling out to her, Juliet is forced to leave. But just as Romeo turns around to go home, Juliet once again returns because she cannot seem to be able to separate herself from him. The two of them share more affectionate words for each other, and finally Juliet goes back inside, while Romeo heads over to see his priest. Friar Lawrence.